A bonded pair of rabbits that spends too much time apart will unbond. And the Fire City team is almost all juniors and seniors, so it's unbelievable, unbelievable that I made it, Owen said that night at supper. Coach says I won't start, but that's okay. Just being on the team will be enough. Enough to make you busy every afternoon? I stole this piece of spaghetti on my plate with my fork. Yes, that's amazing, Mom smiled at me. And Emma had a friend over today. Hey, that's great, Owen said. The happy way he made, said, he said it annoyed me. Like now all my problems were over. And I knew he knew better. Jack was the only one who could come, I said flatly. When you're done, can you take a photo of me kayaking with your phone? I need it for school. Do we actually have to go out on the water? Can you just be sitting in your kayak? Owen asked. I have homework to do. No, that would be ridiculous. None, no one would want to go kayaking with me on the grass. I looked up, down at my plate. Please, we don't have to go far. Okay, as soon as soon he, okay, as soon he finished supper. Okay, as soon as he finished supper, Owen got the paddles and I got the life jackets. When you're the warden's kids, you always have to follow the rules. It's not that I ever wanted to get into trouble, but I knew there'd be extra disappointment if I did. Looking out across the lake, I saw we had it had almost all to ourselves with just one canoe gliding along the far shore. Most of the summer people had already got home, closing up their camps and pulling their docks out of the water. It was so quiet that I could hear the woodpecker drumming on the tree, tree across the lake. I threw my flip-flops into the bottom of the kayak, holding my paddle across the front. I climbed in. Take my phone while I push you off, Owen said. I tucked his phone into my pocket. I love that moment when Owen gives me a shove out past the drop-off and suddenly it's just water under my kayak. I think it must be close to what a bird feels when it lifts off and flies. A quick burst and then you leave the ground behind you. It's a free feeling with nothing holding you back. Where do you want to take the photo? Owen asked, paddling up beside me. I want Eagle Island behind me. On maps, it has a different name, but Owen and I named it for the big eagle's nest in the tall pine tree at the tip. When the eagles were nesting or had eaglets, we weren't allowed on the island, but the juveniles had flown off two weeks ago. We still saw them in the treetops around the lake from time to, to time, but they were on their own now. Kayaking to Eagle Island would take a little time too, time that I didn't have to share with Owen anymore. The lake was almost flat, just a breeze sprinkling the surface. As I, as I patted, I cut the path of the ripples. A little kingfisher cacked, cackled at us, flying low over the waves. He landed on the dead branch that stretched over the water. As we caught up to him, he flew off again, complaining. Owen was digging his paddle so hard that my arms were getting sore, trying to keep up with him. The breeze kept blowing my hair across my nose, and it itched every time. Finally, I gave up and let him get ahead. I took his phone from my pocket and shot a fo photo of him kayaking with me, kayaking away from me. Approaching the island, I looked at the empty nest, a big mess of sticks waiting for next year. When the eagles nested again in late winter, the lake would probably still be a huge field of ice. It's hard to imagine winter in the other seasons, but it's a different world out here. That reflects on the ice and the wind blows strong because there's nothing on the lake to slow it down. It roars against my bedroom windows and whispers through the tiny spaces around the back door. The wind also sweeps the ice clean, so clear and smooth that ice skates fly over it. Owen and I barely went skating at all last year. I miss shouting and hearing our voices echo out in the middle. I missed how mom would put the outside light on to tell us when it was time to come back. If we were skating way out in the middle, the light was small, a tiny dot of yellow in the darkening air. Maybe Owen and i go skating this winter. Saku would be over by then, or maybe he'd sign up for something else at school and he'd do, and he'd do it without me. But at least now I had Laffy at home to keep me from feeling lonely. If things didn't get better at school, I wondered how long mom would make me wait before I could go back home, before I could go back to homeschooling. Surely before winter came. I didn't like to quit anything, but sometimes things just don't work out and it's better to admit it and try something else. I imagined Miss Martell spinning her finger. Move on. 
Okay, give me my photo, Owen said. Then paddle ahead so the eye will be in the background. As he, as he shot photos, I smiled, trying to look fun and outdoorsy. I'll email those to you, Owen said. I thought he'd start for home, but he kayaked past me to the island. As I beached my kayak next to his, Owen picked up a small rock and threw it. Beat that. I picked up a rock and threw it as hard as I could. It didn't go as far as it, so I tried again. We threw rocks over and over, watching the ripples speed upward and connecting with each other. I threw my whole arm each time, but still couldn't beat his. We should head home, Owen said finally. I reached down and picked up one last stone. I slipped it in my pocket. What will you write on it, he asked. Hope, I said. I can't believe you don't already have that one, Owen said, picking up another rock. I've always had hope. I didn't need a rock to give me extra sight. Do you ever wish you could go backward? Not usually, Owen said, but that doesn't mean I don't miss some things. I couldn't look at him. I wondered if I was one of those things, but I was afraid of the answer. If I could go back, I said, I'd go back to the to a day when you and I were at Papier's and Mimir's house. I miss those old days a lot. Owen nodded, me too. I don't think I want to go back for good though. I'd miss some now things, but you wouldn't know about the now things because they wouldn't have happened yet, I said. Owen looked at me. Is school really going to going so terribly that you want to go backward? I lifted one shoulder. Well, no one has bullied me or pushed me into a locker or any of the other mean things kids do to each other on TV shows. Mostly kids just ignore me. I looked down at my feet. It's harder to be different than I thought it would be, though. You'd think all those kids, it'd be easy to make friends, but it isn't. It seems like most kids already have enough friends and they aren't looking for any, any more. It might look that way, Owen said, but everyone wants friends. Remember that, okay? Okay, I said, though it didn't seem true. I do have a plan that that might help. I'm going to ask Dad if he'll bring Lappy to school as part of my group project. I bet the kids will like him, and I'll be the girl with the adorable rabbit, not just the new kid with red hair. Owen smiled. I hope Lappy brings some rabbit magic with him, like Papier used to say. He remembered. I nodded. Me too. Papier would have a story about Manzur Lapin going to school and said, Manzur Lapin would sneak into the cafeteria and raid the salad bar. The lunch ladies would go to serve lunch and find the lettuce bin empty. I laughed and no carrots or blueberries. I'm glad that let you keep Lappy, Owen said, though I knew the second I saw him that if the shelter didn't know where he belonged, he'd be coming back home with us. He grinned. It's hard to say no to you when you really want something else. That didn't stand a chance. I grinned back. That's because Lappy belongs with us. Owen picked up his paddle. We should get back now, though. It's getting dark, and I really do have homework. Do you want me to push you off? Okay. Paddling towards home, the sun was setting, was setting, reflection, reflecting in our upstairs windows. I aimed the bow of my kayak at the beach in front of our house and beat Owen home. That night before I went to bed, I found Owen's rock on my pillow. Rabbit magic.